Tsume mine Namibia. Pre-1982 or 1982 or before came wrapped in newspaper from 1982 uh, from the Tsume mine Namibia. Now what, what comes to mind here, what's quite striking is the underlying form of this crystallization. So it's as if, if, if this were a, a malachite after azurite, We'd, we'd have an underlying form here, almost uh, uh, perhaps a, a tenantite as a, as a backdrop. Perched on that would be some uh, calcite crystals. I don't think we're looking at smithsonite here. The relative weight of this piece is not very heavy. Then we've got these little sprays of pale, pale yellow to white, which could very well be mimetite or the Tsumeb specialists out there, please give a hand. <laughs> um, could also be some aragonite. Um, it's not little needles, so it wouldn't be shower to kite and the, the likes of that. In this little picture, I saw a glint somewhere, and I'm struggling to find it now that uh, doing the video. Maybe, ah, oh, that's probably mimetite. That looks like little needles of mimetite on there. Um, also, the glint could have been a bit of wolfenite, but I can't see it now. Quite, uh, uh, from a form point of view, quite a lovely piece, and this is also quite interesting, this crystallization taking place here. Most likely little mimetites growing, and of course little cavities on the side going right through. Uh, the top of this, this guy is terminated, so it's actually a pseudomorph of this after that, and we don't know what the original core was, but perhaps some tenantite or even an algite as a core. Not a uh, mind that the, the specimen weight isn't very heavy, so it would have been quite replaced. Traces of some, maybe some galena at the bottom, but very, very minor. All the way from the Tsumeb mine number beer, um, as is quite aesthetic and under magnification when you look at these little sections, especially that little cavity, quite, quite magnificent.